this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, what I consider the best use, the most efficient use of the legend command. The draw legend command is under annotate and pull down, and you just simply click on draw legend. And the first thing it does is what um, the command wants you to do is save a legend name. So I'm going to create a new one called test one and open that. It doesn't exist, so it'll create one now, and this is a blank legend. Now I'm going to show you how the legend command works, but then we're going to stop short of that and show you the best way to use it. And I can tell you, uh, looking ahead, before I even get there, that the best way to use this command is to use it in conjunction with field to finish. So if you have a very robust FLD file, your field to finish file, this legend command saves an incredible amount of time and becomes very efficient to use. However, you can use it on any single drawing that there is. So what you're looking at is an example of a drawing um, that was surveyed. And it's about 14 acres in size, and there's a minimal amount of features and symbols in here. And I can begin just by simply hitting Add from Drawing. So I've created my LGD file. That's the extension. On the legend file window everything in and everything that's in this drawing displays in this dialog box uh, if you notice that the name of what it finds is which is the name of the the uh, the symbol or the line type if it's a given line type and it defaults by putting the layer name so here's a crosswalk if i wanted to edit that. I can just go in and the symbol name is a hatch that was came on the crosswalk layer. And the description, I could change that to crosswalk and there's the hatch scale. I can change that if I feel like I need to. And you can do that and go through each symbol line type and sort these by sorting um, alphabetically or manually sort them by clicking on an item and hit move up or move down and it resorts it in the uh, the LGD file. Incidentally, I can actually edit that using Notepad, which you might find more efficient to go through and edit this file. And when, when I have this all edited, I can go back to my draw legend command, select my test one, and draw what I had created. And I'm just going to draw that now. And this is unedited, so uh, what you end up seeing is the layer name, and um, we're missing a lot of information here. However, you can take the time to edit that and make it much nicer. But if you're going to do that on every single drawing, it ceases to become a very efficient tool. So let me back off of that and show you the best way to use this command that is highly efficient. The best way to do that is to start with a drawing that contains all of the codes that you have in your code table. I will show you quickly our code table. And if I edit codes, you'll see the code table list, which is quite robust. It's got sorted categories, monuments and control points, sewer and drain structures. And every one of these symbols, there's about 250 symbols and line types in this code table. So a good tip here is for all your symbols to have a unique symbol name. Uh, it doesn't mean you have to create a new symbol from scratch. You can just use a different Carlson symbol or copy and rename a symbol name and include that in your library. But that will keep the legend from getting confused on two symbols that are used for two completely different features. Next, take the time in the drawing to draw a point for every single code and process your field to finish file. So it's one way to test your field to finish file. So every time I add something new, I add it to this file. Uh, but it is also a great way to create your initial standard uh, LGD, your legend file. So I've got line types in here, sewer lines and tree lines and trees and structures, hatch patterns, like a riprap, and there's the crosswalk, 
that we talked about in the sample drawing. And then I execute that draw legend command again, draw legend, and I will create a company named legend file. Now this is going to be the standard that's shared throughout the company. And we begin the same way I just showed, and that would be to add from drawing, and I window everything in here, which I've already done. So this now is populated with every code that we use. So there's there's symbols, and if I scroll down, you'll find line types. And I've already gone through and edited each one of these and um, sorted them. But the key to editing this and getting these description in here is not to edit each one and add that symbol and description. It is to tag this LGD file to your code table by description by field to finish. So if I back out of here just for a second and go back into the field to finish code table, you'll see what I'm talking about. The full name right here in the code table. If you take the time to put a description in here, this can that dis full name description can not only be used to print out your code list with a description next to each code, but is seen by the legend command as the description that ends up in the legend itself. So every full name description I have in here is what the legend command is going to use for a description. So to go back into the legend command, draw a legend, and we're going to open that back up. That is what this is for, description by field to finish. So if I click on that and grab that code table, and that is going to populate the description field and the symbol itself into the legend. So I've already done this, so I'm not going to repeat that process, but after that was populated, then I took the time to go through and sort the, the symbols and line types in the order that I particularly uh, wanted to see them, which is, of course, uh, a user's choice. I'm going to exit out of that and not save and show you how I put this into practice. So now if I go back to this same example file, and I go to my draw legend command, draw legend. And this time I'm going to select the company standard legend file. And this gets populated uh, to everybody in the company by using the setting servers, another great tool that Carlson has. And I open up the LGD file and then use this option on off by drawing and by using that the i won't be drawing the entire legend i will only be drawing the parts of the legend that are actually contained in this data set a great time saver so if i hit on off by drawing i just window everything in and hit return and now you can see what it's done is to add a no so there's no angle iron in this data set, so it turns that into a no. If I scroll down, you will see here is a yes, so it found a flagpole, and it found a gas meter, and on and on, host indicator valves, and uh, different line types are either on or off. So at this point, if you wanted to add something on purpose, you could just simply highlight it, um, like a wetland line, and then turn it on, back on, or off. So if you just want to keep it your legend to only what's in this data set, you just leave it off and the ones that are exist are on and then hit draw. And here's your settings for your text sizes and uh, labels and lead, uh, layer that everything goes on. And uh, incidentally, once you have these set, it sticks. So next time you use the command, it'll still be that way. And this setup here actually comes part of your CFG file. So if you're saving a company CFG file, that will also be included. So then I hit OK, and pick a spot on the screen, 
and exit. And there is my drawn legend for this particular data set. So it's only going to show the items that are in this particular drawing. So just to recap, step one is to create a FLD file and get a good robust code table with all of your field codes that are going to be um, entered in the field and come right out of the data collector when you process draw a field to finish. And then you use the draw legend command, create a file, and add everything in this drawing file by selecting from the drawing. You sort that and get it looking exactly the way you want. Save it. And then next time you have a data set on all, the, all your subsequent surveys, you just simply annotate, draw a legend, select that standard legend file, and click on off by drawing, windowing everything in for that data set. Once you've done that, then you just simply draw that legend. Very quick. Very easy.